So my comedy buddy's coming to town. I got a bad feeling about this. Last time he was here, I ended up getting raped in county jail. But then there was the ball pit incident. I don't think it was malicious. I don't think he was like, let me pull my pants down and jump in a ball pit full of kids. I don't, I don't think that's what he set out to do that day. He'll stick to his ways. And he'll demand things out of people that are unrealistic. Like, you're, you're not going to get a refund from a prostitute because you were too drunk. It's not how prostitution works. Gee, man, how you doing? Oh, man, good to see you. You too. Welcome you? to Los Angeles. Thank you. <laughs> it's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, man. How's your flight? It's okay. Oh, nice. Not too bad. A couple of Jack and Cokes. Yep. The best part about living in San Jose is I could be in LA in a jiffy. The flight's only 39 minutes. It takes me longer to do sex. You ready to have some fun? I'm always ready to have some All fun. All right, I like the hair. Let's get lost in Angeles. <laughs> Let's do it. So, uh, what went on in the bar there? Um, I was sitting there and uh, there was these two cute guys and one of them came to come and talk to me. I was just going about my day. I was a good, faithful person. I was at Home Depot looking for uh, a little shit that she, she sent me to the store for. I had a list. And now I'm here at a bar and uh, you know, I'm contemplating, you know, taking this uh, fine female up on her offer. I didn't, I didn't ask him to do that. That was him. I mean, I, I was we were talking and I was like, yeah, she's hot. But I didn't tell him, hey, get up and go over and tell you you're hot. I'm an engaged man. I made a commitment to a woman that really I'm not getting along with right now. Sean, how long have you been engaged for? Like, what, 10 years? Babe, I'm gonna marry you. I'm gonna marry you. I swear to God, I'm gonna marry you. Just make me that sandwich first. I'm gonna marry you. Give me some sex. I'm gonna marry you. When? I don't know what to say, folks. You know, your best friends are your worst enemies. This guy set me up to fail. He's throwing me under the bus. This is a... Normally people say that, they use that expression. Throw me under the bus, and you're like, what the fuck does that even mean? This is what that means. This is what that means. Hooking me up with this broad at the bar, and she's like making signals at me. Like... About your range, you're doing the tongue thing. And she's deliberately like, she knows how to touch the man's cockbone region. She's she's doing it on purpose. She's a trained, she's a skillful sniper of of cockbone. I can just tell by looking at it. And she's she knows exactly what she's doing. She's pushing all my buttons in a certain sequence. Eyes. This thing she's got. She's exuding charm. I was giving him the signals that normally men love, you know. I did I, I did the dog lick, which is usually super sexy. It works every time. Um, I did the come hither eyes. I did the come fuck me eyes. Um, I ate a dick and threw it up. I don't know. How much uh, more obvious do you get, right? I mean, I took it out so slowly. Are you fucking with me? But you know what? It's fine. He's He's got a ring. He's got a ring and, yeah, you know, I like single men. What are you going to do, right? Single men. I made a commitment to a woman. I'm not weak, I'm not gonna flirt with a stranger at a bar. Okay. Oh my god, I love you! Marry me! Oh my god! Let me out of this fucking cave! I mean, let's be honest. You don't feed the dog, the dog's gonna find some food. How you feeling, you excited about the show? Yeah! Gonna kill it, gonna kill it, gonna kill it! Nice! Yeah. Chill it, man. Give it the G, man. Right. Special sauce. Did you bring your picture book? I brought the book. Dude, I, I, brought the I book. think you should do a pop-out bit with that. A pop-out book. It never gets old when you do the pictures that's, thing. That's, that's something to think about. And, and you're like, oh, here's a picture of my wife's uh, crotch. People love that. People love that. Type Boom. Of Boom. It's good stuff. So tell me why you Uh-huh. No. 
pot. Alright, what's going on? So my, I, can't, I, can't, I can't go on tonight. What are you talking about? My dog just fucking died. What? My dog died. Oh my god. I can't. Shit, I can't. I'm sorry, though. Oh my god. You're gonna have to go on tonight. They, they need someone I to fill the spot. I, I, I can't. can't go on I like can't this. go on tonight. I mean, you can't go on. I'm not You're gonna go on. Come on. You go for my dog, dude. For your dog, for you do. Life. For your, your dog would want I you to live. I can't. I. You don't think your dog dude. would want you to go on stage and kill? Look at my eyes. There's you, tears you in look, my eyes. You look fine to me. I can't go on stage. Look at me. I'm broken. Dude, listen. With all due respect, it's just a dog. I mean, it's a dog. Dude. Go and do your set. the fucking dog. Have you heard That's this? like my son. Your son? My son. That dog was everything to me. You know? He was like a brother, a son, a dad. Lots of times when I was bored and lonely. A girlfriend. Because I love that little bitch. You really can't go on stage. I can't go on like this. I feel like you're exaggerating and you're just suffering me. No. you chicken shit or something. My dog just fucking right. died, okay. man! Alright, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. Alright, I'll, I'll go. I'll do it. Alright? Just Thanks, relax. Thanks, man. Relax, you alright? I'm okay. Calm down. I'll buy you a drink. <sighs> How do you die? Paragliding accident. <laughs> What's that mean? Is that, isn't that the thing that people... It's like a hang glider, but a... What are you talking about? Get over here. These dads, these kids with their dads. <laughs> I didn't go to a party for like a year, then I showed up to a party with like some kids and everybody had a blowtorch. <laughs> That's what you need now to get hot? If that was me, I swear to God, like I'd have no friends because I'd have just burned up everybody I know. <laughs> and people, let me tell you this, raccoons are evolving. I run into this raccoon. And I swear to God, this guy was just, he was the size of a midget. And I saw him, and he got up on his hind legs. And I swear to God, he went like this. Where's the food at? Horrible ending to the raccoon bit. Anyway, you get the point. <laughs> he's a raccoon, and he's a badass. At the end of the night, we, uh, we made friends, and he sold me uh, a bag of weed. <laughs> Dope raccoon. So the light means I got one minute, or, or get off the stage immediately. And when you get deeper into it, I feel like you do the whole shit. Dude. Dude. I don't want to hear it. Please. You don't want to hear it. Dude, don't do that to me ever again. You, you did good tonight. Sure. Go no, me on stage. I'm not prepared to go on. I went into the raccoon bit. That was supposed to be my big killer. And I, I butchered the act out. Because I wasn't ready. So I have a bit that I like, that I think is funny, and now I fucked it up because I wasn't prepared, and now I have no confidence in the bit anymore. So I'm not even, I don't even want to do the bit anymore. Thanks for spoiling a perfectly good bit. You just gotta work on it. Do it again. Try it again. Because your dog died? My dog died. <laughs> you gotta bring it up. Listen, between me and you, all you did was talk shit about that dog. I love that no, dog. No, be real for a minute. All you did was talk shit about that dog. No. I don't I don't like the dog. Please. I, I gotta walk it. You were, you, you were constantly annoyed by the dog. When I was lonely. You used to tell me. When I was lonely. You used to tell me the dog used to make a mess up his sex life. Remember that? I can't be alone with a woman because if we lock the dog outside the room, it scratches on the door. When I was alone, at least I had peanut butter, and it took care of the job. Okay? I love that dog. You just, you never take anything seriously. Literally. I don't know when you're joking, everything's just like a joke. What if, what if it's true? What? What if I put peanut butter on my cock I don't doubt when I was that's lonely? I'm sure you did put peanut dog. butter on your, on your dick. Are you, are you, are you sleeping? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I was, I was so, just, the comedy buddy. Yeah, I mean, you're my comedy buddy. Let's be comedy buddies. There's, if you want to be comedy buddies, if you're interested in that whole thing, there's, there's exercises in the book that 
we can go through together while you're in town. Yeah. And, you know, look, at, it's worked for uh, Paul Rodriguez, um, Brian Regan. I mean, there's tons of names in here. So maybe we should just try to... Porsche, Ellen DeGeneres. Okay. Are you trying to tell me something? No. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? All right, anyway. Porsche. That's a les is that a lesbian? Or is okay. I'm sorry. I fe I thought it was weird to sit right next to you. <laughs> You're right. Is that weird? I'm sorry. I'm going to give you your space. Okay. Okay. But, uh, but thanks, I, I, thanks for being my comment. Yeah. You know, I don't know if Sean's really upset or if this is his little uh, trick to get me to buy him some more drinks. But I feel bad for the guy. So... I'm gonna take him out. Obviously, I got Sean a little, little, little drunk. Just went piquito. I'm a little drunk myself. So, what can you do? What can you say other than I wanna get laid? I'm out of town. I'm in LA. And hey, I might just get laid. I just may, because I'm from the bay. Let's go eat some hay. I met this guy named Ray, who's pretty gay. Orange flaming pants. Think he's doing yay. But he got no money to give. You know, Sean thinks he's a really great wingman. The guy hooked me up with the Golden Girls. I'm gonna go talk to her for you. No, so I'm gonna do that. Come on. Come on, talk. We're just talking. sitting here, we're enjoying our drinks. You know, the only difference between an old lady and a young, hot, smoking chick is like 40 years. They all, they all look the same in the dark. Who has not wanted to ever date an old lady? Okay? You take them home, you bang them, and the more they make you pancakes. You know what I mean? It's grandma style. AARP discount. Gotta love old ladies. And have you ever been gummed? You ever had a gum job? Let me tell you, no matter how mad she gets, she can't bite your dick off. It just feels good every way. It'll change your life. It changed mine. I think we made a love connection. I think you're right. Okay. I feel like yeah. Chuck Woolery. There you go. Yes. Cheers. 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 Oh, you have nothing. Uh, how's it going? Great, Sean. Come on, you had a good time. Yeah. Other than the, uh, blisters on my cock from the sandpaper vagina. <laughs> That's so rude. That is so rude. You mad? Mad? No, why, why would I be mad? I don't know, you <laughs> I fucked my grandma! <laughs> At least you know what it's like now, though. When your buddy gets you into a situation you don't want to be in. Burn, right? Yeah, burns. My cock burns. <laughs> Just remember, whatever happens in L.A. stays in L.A. Have a good fight, man. <laughs> So, what do you think about his resemblance to John Stamos? John Stamos. <laughs> no.